Big Perk, well, what do you think about this conversation? Where does uh, Nikola Jokic fall? Here we go. You, you, you know what? He's right there in the conversation, but... This is the thing that I, t I told y'all about a month ago that is going to fluctuate, not weekly, but it's going to fluctuate yep. daily. And see, we we forget before the All-Star break when Joel and B went and handed Giannis in Milwaukee 42 and 14 with no James Harden and the win. See, we forget those days. Or we forget things like the Marcus Cousins with no Jokic, they last game against the Rockets, having 31 and whatever he did and them getting the win. I'm not taking anything away from Jokic. I'm just saying this. He's not a clear-cut favorite, nor is Joel and B. I think it's going to go down to the wire. John Morant makes a case along with DeMar DeRozan. These last few games of this regular season are going to be key for all those guys I just mentioned to make a case on why they should win it. Now, I will say this. Jokic is the most skilled international player this game has ever seen. Period. When you talk about versatility, when you talk about his passing, when you talk about his footwork, finishing around the basket, his trade ball, he shoot awesome from the free throw line, he got great footwork, everything, he has the complete arsenal. And by the way, he's an underrated defender in the pick and roll. I love what he brings to the table. So I'm not about to get into this MVP conversation Aww. because I told y'all this. Other you are. No, like, yeah. no, no, no. No, 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 no. But I will give him his credit and say he's the most skilled international player this game has ever seen. More so than Giannis? More so than Hakeem? Dirk? Yes. Giannis? Yes. I would say yes. Wow. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. All right.